hey, I'm the 13th Wolf fan. You know what? James Balsamo, my buddy of mine, uh, was nice to send over. Fight School. Yeah. This is one of his newer films. It's out. James Balsamo plays Tony Cadoni, the playboy, the billionaire playboy who has found, a, found out from his grandfather that if he doesn't grow up, if he doesn't go out actually get a GED, then he is going to be cut off from the family fortune. And technically he does cut him off. To get back on to the family fortune, he needs to get this GED, so he goes to night school. Well, <laughs> while at night school, he meets, a, he, he meets a young lady who is a vampire. And she want, she's destined to become queen of the vampires because her father is king of the vampires. Let's put it that way. Now, this is one of those campy vampire films that can only be made by James Balsamo. This, this was a good time and a good film. He's got everybody in this movie. Edward X. Young, Butch Patrick from the Munsters, um, I believe a couple of guys from Faster Pussycat, you know, Genevieve Rossi's back, Sarah Martin, Sarah French, uh, Bill Walsh. He got music from Kill, uh, Kill Switch Engage, uh, and a bunch of others. Now, I, I love the look of this. I think it's, James is, a James is very talented when it comes to coming up with stories. I mean, he just tries to come up with the most entertaining, I guess is the way you want to put it, uh, story available. And for what it is, is it usually is entertaining. I, I love them. I take them at just as what they are. They're just campy films to watch. Um, so, there's, there's the cover. Here's the disc art, which is kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, so, unfortunately with this copy... And I think I got a screener because there's no special features on this. And I was hoping to at least get a commentary or a deleted scene or something. I do know that one of the deleted scenes that's it's not on here, but if you watch it online, if you go to if you go to watch it online somewhere, um, one of the deleted scenes is at the very end that Leo Pond and Kevin Crook from The Dorkening actually made it into this movie. And... Uh, but like I said, they didn't make it to the disc, so I don't know what that's about. James L. Samuel knows exactly what he's doing. He went to film school, he, he learned how to do all this stuff, and it's not just making the movie that he learned, uh, that, that he knows how to do. He's also, he, he does special effects. I remember when he was making this movie, um, I called him up on Skype late one night, and he says, oh, I'm coming up, I'm working on, you know, this, and, you know, he said what it was, and um, I honestly, I think it was a head sculpt at the time. I'm trying to remember, but he goes, I'm working on this, and we talked about it for a few minutes, and I was like, wow, I'm, I'm really impressed when, you know, he's not just a writer, a producer, a director, an actor, special effects artist, you know, I mean, he does it all. Every movie, he seems to learn a little bit more on what to do, what not to do. I remember uh, way back on one of the first movies I I reviewed for him. Uh, the music was just blaring, and and you could hardly hear the voice. And since then, he's corrected that. And uh, it, every, like I said, every movie he he learns a little bit. He gets a little bit better. There's things on here he needs to, you no, know, tweak a little. So what would I give this? I give this two chainsaws out of four. You know, um, it's about an average film. You know, as far as as far as movies go, did I enjoy myself? Yes, I I, I always enjoy watching uh, films by James. I still say till this day, even though this is pretty good, Cool as Hell is still my favorite out of all out of all his movies. And uh, yeah, so two out of four chainsaws. I I say that's a pretty decent. You can go online. You can check out AcidBathProductions.com. You can find James. Uh, and Acid Bath Productions on Facebook. You know, you can just about find it anywhere. And I say go there, you check out the movies, get a copy of this, or watch the digital version online and see the see the deleted scene with Kevin Crook and 
Leo Pond. Uh, yeah, it's it's a good movie, so I'll leave the links to the, everything below. And with that, I'm the 13th Wolfman. Of course, I'm on the prowl.